So, me and Lee got our cabbage out of the garden. So it's nine, nine. heads of cabbage. Mm -hmm. And we are working mm -hmm. on our bad, so. sauerkraut. A couple of heads of cabbage was kind of ate up in pretty bad shape. We were going to try to cut what we could out of them, but we decided forget it. Yeah. We just were. threw them out. So we would have had. Too bad of shape. We would have had 11. Uh, yeah, and there's still a couple small heads up there. A couple that, small heads still. Yeah, that we still ain't got. Well, so we had we'll 11. Have. We had to throw two out, and uh, we are working on the nine that were still good. One of them is actually, we only ended up with one red cabbage so far, but we're just gonna mix that right in with the rest. And um, so do him next. Yeah. And uh, so we're gonna mix that red one right in with the rest. I'll do, the, I'll do him next. So we're making homemade sauerkraut and then I'm gonna can it. So what we're doing right now is shredding up the cabbage. Lee's chopping it up. He tried it on a shred thing we have, but uh, or a slicer, mm. but that wasn't working too well, so he's just Not chopping it up. Not for me anyway. And this is about the consistency, which is fine with me. You could do it smaller, but I like it thick. I like it thick and chunky. I was gonna say, once so it starts yeah, so down, that's good for us. What you do is you get that all chopped up. We've got our big bowl that uh, I got, I won off of uh, Off Grid with Doug and Stacy for being Homestead Homie of the Month for April last year. There's my big bowl. And it's huge, it's a huge bowl. So that right there is four of the heads of cabbage. All right, then you take you some salt. I, I'm using coarse kosher salt. You can use canning salt or whatever. You can also even use uh, the pink Himalayan salt or anything like that. Real salt. I love the um, Redmond's Real Salt. But I had this. I'm using it. Uh, you use uh, one or two. You can use one to two um, tablespoons per head of cabbage. And um, that's medium head of cabbage. Um, you can use... I'm using one. So it's not so salty. Um, you can use two, but that's pretty salty to me. I've done that before, and um, it was quite salty to me. So I'm using one tablespoon per medium head of cabbage. And uh, you just mix that around good. Get it really mixed up good with that salt. Um, then you let that sit for 10 minutes. And that's where we're at right now, is letting that set for 10 minutes. Um, all of them wouldn't fit in this bowl. So uh, I done, we done four heads of cabbage and mixed the four tablespoons of salt in there. I mixed it up well and we're letting it set for the 10 minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and stuff that in the jar and then work on the other, uh, what, five heads? Yeah, five heads of cabbage. I really like to go ahead and get that purple one in here so that I can mix purple in or half of it maybe and then half of it in the other. So there's my jar. I'm going to fill up this old jar. This is actually, I got this at an antique store, uh, but they had just bought out a um, estate sale. And it is an old jar, but it's not antique. It's just made to look old. It's got the uh, eagle and um, it says Mason's Patton, November 30th, 1858. But that's just a replica because it's actually an old di a dill pickle jar from a movie theater. So it's probably old, but it's not actually antique. But it's pretty cool looking. I, I got it for five bucks. And uh, I don't know how much it holds. I don't know if it tells. But let me tell you. There it is. It's wore off. That's what I'm going to do this big batch of um, sauerkraut in. I usually do this in uh, wide mouth quart jars. And I usually have to use four or five wide, wide mouth quart jars. 
and I will lay um, the cabbage leaves on top and then put weights on top of that of whatever kind of weights I can find. I have several different things I use to stamp it down. I have my um, kraut stamper that I got from Nathan at Samson Farms and um, this is actually made for a quart jar to stamp down but I think I'll be able to use that in here as well and I can get my hand in here so I can stamp down in there with that. Okay, so we started mixing in some of that red cabbage. Oh, that looks so pretty. And uh, I started putting some of that in the jar. And there you go, there's the jar. And I wasn't sure it was gonna fill up this jar, but that's just half. So another half, yes, it'll be just about right. It'll probably come up to the rim there, just about right. So Lee's putting more in there. He's just chopping it, slicing it pretty much one way and then the other with the big old knife. <laughs> Watch your pickles, pickles going on back there. And in the background, I'm listening to Gossmania Homestead live show. So we just got a lot going I'm on. I'm trying to listen to Motley Crue in the background. Yeah, he's listening to radio and I'm listening to Gossmania in the background. Mine's so. turned down lower, so... So I already started stamping this down before I thought to video again, but it was probably up to about here. It wasn't full like I thought it would be. It was up to about a little over half, but uh, but that's a, still a lot of kraut. It's going to be a lot of kraut. I don't know how much that's going to fill up. I couldn't say. I, it, I think that will fill up, I'm guessing fill up about eight quarts, eight to ten quarts maybe. This is really stamped down good in there. I used uh, Nathan's stamper. Nathan from Samson Farms uh, made these and I bought one and I've been stamping it down before I thought the video again. So uh, I've stamped it down good. Now Lee has gone to get me a couple of big cabbage leaves and I love the purple in it. I've never done the purple in it before, but I happen to have grown some red cabbage this year, and we only had one out of this bunch. There's a couple of small heads up there we didn't get yet, but we only had one to put in this bunch. It's still pretty though. So there you go, that's what we got so far. Lee brought me a couple of big, beautiful red cabbage leaves. And I'm cleaning those off real good. And I'll lay those in there on top of that and weigh those down on top of my um, kraut. So, aren't those pretty? That's from the red cabbage. It's the big leaves at the bottom of the red cabbage. Okay, you know how we talk about use whatever works? Well, here's what works tonight. <laughs> uh, some of my little things weren't waiting weighing that weighting that down enough so I was looking for something that would fit in the top of my jar but be heavy enough to weight that down and here's what I come up with I just got done doing um, pickle relish and so I cleaned off the outside of my pickle jars real good which they are sitting on top of the uh, leaves the cabbage leaves there's my cabbage leaves, laid all, both laid down in there real good to cover up all of the kraut. And then I set both of these jars down in there of the pickle relish. And they are heavy enough to hold that down good. So there you go. The old use whatever works thing. So now I'm going to cover the top of this with cheesecloth. And uh, actually, if I have cheesecloth, if I don't, I will use uh, coffee filters and put a cup of coffee filters over that and tie them on, put them on with a rubber band or cheesecloth. I'm not sure if I have any cheesecloth, but whatever works, I'm telling you, and um, whatever you have. And uh, then I will set that back. Okay, so Lee felt sorry for me having to put my canned goods in there, so he came up with the better idea. He went and cut some boards 
in kind of a cedar. half moon, some cedar boards in half from, moon shapes to put in there. CG and Andy's. So he's still putting the cedar boards handy. on top of the big cabbage leaves. And he's doing them each direction. And then a big clean rock down in there with the rocks on top. So we've got our sauerkraut, big cabbage leaves, cedar wood, and two rocks on top. That's yeah. how you make do. <laughs> and one of these she's going to have a rock upside her, dude. Whatever. There you go. Now we got it. Yeah. Now you got pressure on it. Now we got it. Now that can go in the bedroom and set up for two weeks. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you, dear, for the You're help. You're welcome, dear. All right. Did you tell me I had to go back up there and cut some leaves off of some cabbages? Yes, that I was did. still up there? Yes, I did. Okay. In yeah. pouring rain? Oh, well, no, I didn't tell him in the pouring rain. Well, it wasn't pouring rain then, but it, <laughs> it's pouring rain now, so. All right, y'all give us a like, thumbs up, <laughs> comment, and subscribe. Exactly, and always, most definitely, God bless. There it is. It's ready to go. There it is. <laughs>